Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm your host, Henry Lamb. And I'm your co-host, Everett Brewer. And, and here, here are your, your afternoon, afternoon announcements. announcements. Sports physical will be available Thursday, May 25th from 3.45 to 6. And cost is $20. Updated physicals will be needed for all out-of-season workers. And you can see Coach Fowler, Gordon, or Krupp for a physical form. This week is SCA Campaign Week. Please take this time to learn about the candidates seeking to represent you as class and school officers. Voting will take place Friday during Bulldog Block. Absolutely. Do not miss out on that opportunity. Now to the, to the weather with Raleigh. So throughout the weekdays, it's going to be relatively clear till we get to the weekend. There's going to be a small chance of rain going to Memorial Monday. There's going to be a small chance of a storm, but nothing to worry about quite yet. But back to you guys. Thank you very much for that forecast. Hey, yeah, man. Are you looking for scholarship money and or thinking about getting ahead with your college application essay? Because you can show up, you can sign up for the Show Me the Money and Admission morning or afternoon intercession taking place from June 20 to 23rd. Sign ups on Friday, May 26th to be sure to register via this link in the, with this week's Bulldog Bulletin email. Here is your uplifting news story of the day. A mother in Arizona woke to find that she was trapped in her second story of her apartment home as it quickly engulfed in flames. Uplifting. Claudia Jimenez opened the window and called out to anyone who would hear, needing somehow to find a way to escape, while the front door was blocked by the fire. Oh, this uplifting news story is getting scary. It's so uplifting. The first person on the scene wasn't a firefighter, but it was Ho uh, Joe Hollins, who lived in a homeless encamp with her wife near Jimen's house. All I see is a lady pull open the window and she's screaming, please, please help me. Hollins told CBS News. The mother of two then had to make a choice, a difficult choice. It's not unusual or prejudicial to be wary of people living on the streets, but for her one-year-old daughters, Valerie, and eight-year-old Natalie, Hollins may have been their uh, only hope for survival. Yeah. Under the window, Hollins called to Jimena saying that he would catch his children in his arms. She trusted the man and not only dropped Valerie but, and Natalie, but the two dogs as well. It took Jimenez herself a while to summon up the courage to jump, but she managed to do it. And Hollins still had the strength to catch her. Wow, that's really impressive. Yeah. As things calmed down, the family thanked Hollins profusely, though the man said that he did not want he didn't he did not want anyone okay he did what anyone would do in that situation yep sorry <laughs> yes anyone would those were children he said i will fl i will forever be thankful to to him you know said jimenez like i said to to me he was an angel jimenez said because of him we're here we're alive and my daughters are safe while the family lost everything community members are helping support them to get them back on their feet while viewers at CBS want to know how they can support Hollins and honor what he did. Yeah, absolutely. And lastly, here is your hilarious joke of the day. Hey, Henry, what do you call a fake noodle? What do you call a fake noodle? An impasto. <laughs> 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 lastly, happy birthday to Joshua Boster, Christian Bradley, <laughs> Jody Oching, Alexis Phillips, Jamison Pryor, and Samuel Wilson. Henry, you good, man? Yeah. yeah. As, as a reminder, be kind to each other, and as always, 